Hey seniors, I can honestly tell you that in all the years that I've been working at Belen, in all the years that I've been involved in education, I've never come across such a challenging moment as this one that we're going through right now. But I've been very impressed with the way that you guys have responded to this whole situation. I know that the many years that you have been in Belen have taught you and formed you to be extraordinary young men and you're proving it by the way that you're responding to this whole COVID-19 thing. Now I wanna be sure that you understand one thing. All the years of formation that you've received at Belen, all the experiences that you've gone through together as a class, those things are what's most important about your Belen experience. We should never reduce the success of your Belen experience of these last couple of months. Now, I know that you're sacrificing a lot. I know that there's a lot of events that you wish you can take part of, like your prom and your graduation, that these last few days of your time at Belen should have been spent right here on campus, but we know that can't be done. Just remember that the true greatness of your Belen education is already there. You guys are friends, you're brothers, you'll love each other till the day that you die. As a matter of fact, your best man and the godfather of your children are the guys that have been with you for the past few years. This is the secret to the greatness of Belen. So on behalf of myself and all the other Jesuit priests, we want to remind you how much we love you. We want to remind you how much we appreciate you and how very proud we are of the years that you have spent at Belen. God bless you always. And remember always to turn to Our Lady of Belen to watch over you through her prayers and her intercession. God bless. Class of 2020, I just wanted to reach out to you and say congratulations. You've made it to the end. Uh, we told you at the beginning of the school year that you guys were a great class and we meant it. Uh, we knew you could take on any challenge. We never thought a pandemic would be the challenge you're taking on. But the fact is you are and you guys have done a great job of sticking together and working hard. My only advice for you when you go off to college is to stick to your faith. Remember that Mass is important. All of the universities you're going to will have some kind of group there that you can uh, become part of that will go to Mass together perhaps and grow in your faith as you've done at Belen. I, I wish you the best and I know that you guys will do your very best from here on. God bless. Hi seniors, I just wanted to let you know that I've been thinking of you and praying for you. I know that the last couple of weeks have not been the easiest, but I hope it's been an opportunity for you to grow closer together and stronger in faith. I also wanted to say thank you. Thank you for the countless ways that you've made Belen a better place, for the many ways that you've left your mark. What a joy it's been for me personally to watch you grow from the young boys that entered sixth grade, many of them into my own class, and into the amazing men that you are today. I cannot wait to see all the wonderful things that lie ahead for you. In the meantime, know that Belen loves you, will be praying for you, and is always here to support you. Congratulations, class of 2020. May you always journey with Christ at your side and Belen at your heart. I love you. Thanks for letting me be part of this amazing journey. What's up, gentlemen? It's Mr. Jordan here. I really just want to tell you guys congratulations and let you know how incredibly proud I am uh, to have been part of the last leg of the race uh, in your in your billing career. You are an exceptional class. You are an exceptional group of young men uh, that have blown me away since day one, um, even before we left. And I know you're gonna make us proud. There's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna happen in your life, a lot of things that you cannot control as you've probably already learned. But uh, I wanna give you just two pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid to fail. You're gonna make mistakes. Things are gonna happen, things outside of your control. And it's okay that you fail. It's okay that things don't go the way you planned. So long as you do your best, nothing really else matters. You go to bed with yourself every night. Be proud of the man that you are. And the best way you can be proud of yourself is to be a man of faith. Even if you don't practice it, even if you don't mean the words when you say it, God is always there with you. And you always have an army of people behind you, praying for you, hoping the best for you, and know Regardless of what happens in your life, regardless of whatever you need, pray, have faith, don't worry, and know that I'm always here for you no matter what you need. God bless. Love you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. I've been so blessed to get to have been your counselor and watch you grow during your high school years. I know this part of the year is not how you envisioned it, but if there's a class that can demonstrate resilience, it's definitely been you guys. I'm so proud of you all and I'm gonna miss you like crazy, but at the same time, I can't wait to see and excited to hear all your adventures and 
your future where it takes you. Know that I am your forever counselor, that I hope to get to be a part of that journey and we stay in touch. Belen will always be your home and will always be here for you. Remember to always keep God first and I love you, class of 2020. Congratulations, gentlemen. It was great to be your counselor from sixth to eighth grade. I was asked to share some parting words. Well, I'll tell you now what I told you way back seven years ago. The best reason to leave Belen is the same one for coming to Belen, to become the absolute very best versions of yourselves you can possibly be. Not so you can build a monument to yourselves, but so that you can love God by serving others to the best of your abilities. Congratulations. It's been great. Stay in touch. I am forever yours. Hello, Belen class of 2020. I'm hoping everyone is well and staying safe. I wanted to let you know that I have really missed all of you tremendously. I want you to have faith that we will get through this together and be stronger than ever. A few thoughts for you to carry into the different paths that you will take. One is to say please and thank you as much as you can. Two, I want you to remember that whatever you text, post, every picture and email you send will follow you for the rest of your lives. Three, always treat everyone with kindness, compassion, and respect. And finally, always be truthful. I want you to know that I am always here for you and remember that ultimately the journey is the price. God bless you all. Hello, seniors. So this is your, I would probably say, favorite group of people in the school. And we're just here to wish you well. Um, you know, college is, uh, is, a, is a new chapter in your life and we're so proud of you and, and so excited for what's to come, um, regardless of, of the current situation that we're in. And, and I hope you're proud of yourselves too. You did it, you made it. And I hope you remember the little people when, when you head on to, to the next phase in your life. And remember that we're always here and that Belen will always be home. So please come back and visit because we're gonna miss you. Hi seniors, first of all, I wanna start by saying thank you for making my first year at Belen incredible. You made me feel welcome from day one. You always put a smile on my face when you came to, to visit. Please know that your teachers, your counselors, and especially us here at College Counseling are so incredibly proud of you. As you go off to colleges and universities all over the country, know that you always have a home here at Belen and especially in College Counseling. So come and visit us and I promise to always have snacks. Congratulations and love you all. Hey seniors, so I also want to say thank you for this first year there at Belen. So I always read this book to seniors when all the seniors that I've dealt with in the past, obviously I'm not going to read it now, but basically the gist is that even though you're going to go on to do amazing things, which we know you all will go on to do amazing things, you're going to hit some bumps along the road um, and just know that everyone is going through the same thing so never feel alone when you are hitting one of those bumps or when you're just there waiting for the next thing to happen and it's not happening yet it will love you guys well seniors the time has come the sun is starting to set on our experience the last four years and i have to say that it has been uh one of the most memorable experiences that i could have had having you from freshman to senior year and seeing you change from boys to men uh, and I am incredibly proud of uh, the outcomes of all of you. I wish you the best in your in your lives in the future. And if I can pass on one piece of advice that a coach gave to me when I was a when I was a sophomore in high school and finally reiterated at uh, my graduation, it's that um, it doesn't matter how much you get knocked down. It's about that you get up, and after you lose five yards, you gain ten. So take that into however you wish. But best of luck, and know that we are always going to be there for you and always just only a phone call away. And just to finish off with the college counseling department, um, I just wanted to congratulate the entire class of 2020. Thank you so much for making all of our times here um, the very best, a pretty easy group to work with. So we are very grateful for that as well. Um, congratulations on all your acceptances and everything that you will be achieving in the next four years. Another small little takeaway, um, just to piggyback on what Mr. Chambers said, um, just remember that we're all very small um, in a big pond uh, for next year. So, you know, keep it real, um, always uh, stay grounded, and you know you always have a family here. We love you. We love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Congratulations. You Congrats. did it. Congrats. Hi, my dear 
class of 2020, I am so happy for you. I can't believe that it's already the end of your senior year. It's crazy to me. I feel like I just met you. Uh, please know that you will always have a very special place in my heart. I will never ever forget you as the guys who introduced me to Belen, guys who never failed to put a smile on my face. Uh, so bright and so special in your very own way. Just know that you are all in my prayers and that I wish you all the best in your very, very bright futures. Congratulations. Hey guys, shout out for class of 2020. Listen, I know that all of us right now are going through a season of pain, especially you guys. But I'm here to tell you that when you find refuge in God, that season of pain can become a season of growth. So hey, write a good story from this. A good story that you can tell someday. See, the way I see it, if you tell a bad story, you've declared your life to be meaningless in my book. So know this, how you tell your story determines how you live your life. And a good story isn't free from struggle. A good story isn't free from setbacks. So repackage this thing you're going through, guys. You know, as for me and my wish for you guys, I like to write my story with God as the main character because it's for His glory the way I see it. So go out there and live a great story, guys. Stay strong, stay positive, and most importantly, stay in trust in the Lord. Love you guys. Hi guys, I miss you so much. I hope you're all doing well and you're healthy. Um, you guys know you're so special to me. You're my last senior class and I love you guys so much. I hold a very special place in my heart for each and every one of you. I wish you the very best uh, when you're off in college. Uh, remember everything that you've learned while your years at Belen, what you've learned from your parents, your morals, your values, and remember to take that with you wherever you go. I'm so very proud of you guys. You're so resilient, you're so strong and I know that you can overcome anything. I love you guys. Hey class of 2020, this is weird. I'm speaking to you once again from my bunker and uh, I've got to capture a shared experience like a global pandemic in 60 seconds. I'm not going to even try. Um, I'm not really good with cliches. They're very lazy. Um, I also would have been the world's worst motivational speaker. However, I have learned something in my years and that is that we only grow when our comfort zones have been disrupted and our comfort zones have been obliterated for the past six weeks. So we all can't help but to grow, especially guys like you. It happened to you during a very formative part in your life. You're going to be better men because of this. I have been buoyed by your strength, by your courage, by your commitment to doing the right thing in the face of adversity. The leadership, personal leaders, any silent leaders, and even the, 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 the more traditional leaders in this class, there are many. Uh, you're going to be missed a lot. You guys were the, the first ones who ever called me Abuelo Chongo, and that will never, ever be forgotten. I'm going to miss you how you maintain your class, your dignity, uh, even in the face of adversity, how you maintain your sense of humor. Those chats during our Zoom sessions, at first I would read them, anticipating great questions, and then I realized that 90% of them are trolling my hair, uh, my man cave, the saints. Uh, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that a lot. We will see each other very, very soon, sooner rather than later. So stay strong, peace, love you guys. My message to the 2020 senior class is a simple one. Thank God for everything. Have them in your thoughts, have them on the tips of your tongue. During big moments, little moments, joyful moments, times of sorrow, with family members and strangers alike. Be grateful to those who have contributed to who you are because they were purposely put there and they won't always be there. So give them a big I love you and a, and a big hug. Lastly, realize that you are a blessing. So be a blessing at every turn, at every moment you can. I love you guys. I wish you big things. God bless. Hi, class of 2020. You're such a special group to me. It has been a joy to see you grow from the young boys that I met in eighth grade to the men that you are today. Um, as you get ready to head out into the world outside of Belen Walls, know that you always have a home here and that we're always uh, looking forward to seeing you come back and hearing about your accomplishments. Also remember to stay true to yourself and to your beliefs as you head out into the real world. Um, if I could give you a, some advice, it would be um, from Atticus Finch and To Kill a Mockingbird that we read in eighth grade. And that would be that Atticus taught his kids about empathy and compassion. And he always told them that if you really wanted to understand another person's perspective, that you should climb into their skin and walk around. And I think that's a good lesson. I, no matter where you go in life, 
uh, consider someone else's feelings and how they're going to react before you uh, say or do something. Um, I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations. I'll miss you. Uh, take care and I wish you the best always. Hi guys, P.A. Hernandez here. How are you? I taught some of you physics last year. Others I see around the halls and say hello and so on. Indulge me for just a few seconds and uh, I want to do a little thought experiment with you. Share some thoughts with you. Imagine that you had the power to make everything disappear, but not just the very large, also the very small. If I ask you what's left, you will probably say there's nothing. And that is actually partly right but not completely right. Empty space provides the fabric so that you could build everything that is around you. Actually, what you can see is built upon what you can't see. 2,000 years ago, St. Paul writes a letter to the Corinthians and he says, pay attention to the things that we can't see because the things that we can see are only temporary and the things that we can't see are eternal. And that's my message to you today. Pay attention to the things that you can't see, because those things are probably the most important things. I'll see you. Take care. Peace out. God bless, babies. Have a good one. Hello to the class of 2020. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, send you a little video from Nashville, um, let you know how much I love you, uh, how much I've really appreciated having you in my class all year long. You've been extremely uh, gosh, attentive and receptive and challenging. Uh, it's been excellent. Yes, even you, Brennan. I just wanted to let you know what exactly uh, are my thoughts regarding you guys. I got to tell you honestly that I think that all of this that has happened is something that is going to make the class of 2020 even stronger, uh, more united. I have so much enjoyed our Zoom sessions. I really have. I know it's not what I would prefer, but as long as it's being able to be with you, I'll take it. Uh, i give you a Bible verse. No, you don't have to copy it down. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 4.18, which says, So we don't look at the troubles that we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. And so what I would like to say to the class of 2020 is that the God that created you loves you, and it has a future for you, and he has a purpose for you. And I want you to get rid of all this transient background noise that we see around us all the time and listen for that still, small voice that is calling unto you, telling you, I love you, I have a purpose for you, and I need you to get to work. So, class of 2020, it has been an honor for me to be able to sit here today and tell you unashamedly that I love you, that Jesus loves you, Jesus is Lord, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye. Let me be one of the many who congratulate you on your stellar academic accomplishments. You're trailblazers, champions, and go-getters. You're resilient and have grit and have illustrated incredible fortitude. Thank you to all of my students for the great laughs. Thanks to my Kogo boys for all the walks around the Arroyo Quad and out to the field. I will miss all of you so dearly. Best of wishes on your next academic journey, and I cannot wait for you to come back and visit us and tell us about your journey. Lots of love. Class of 2020, I want you to remember to take time to differentiate the important things in life and integrate them into your future. And always remember that you are statistically significant. Class of 2020, today in a very special way, I thank God for the gift of each and every one of you. From those of you who I was lucky enough to have in my first sixth grade Spanish class, to those of you who I've had the privilege of teaching along the way, those of you who I call my adopted students, because although I haven't taught you in class, I've learned so much from you in the hallways and on the playing fields, and the peer ministers who have invited me to days of reflections and retreats, allowing me to be part of their circle of trust and humbling me as they shared stories about their journey of faith. Thank you so much for the privilege of being part of your memories here at Belém. My prayer is that you will continue to allow your heart to lead you and always know that you'll have a special place in mind. I love you guys. Hey seniors, it's Coach Chachi. Really excited for this upcoming time in your lives. Father Willie talked about battling like a Wolverine on all the emails he sends to you guys. 
and you guys have done just that. You've had to do that more than most. The lessons Valen's taught you and these experiences will be great later on in your life. Uh, keep battling like a Wolverine. Keep making your family, yourselves, and Belen very proud by just being the great people that Belen has helped you become. I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm very excited that I've been able to share the last four years with you because for any basketball coach, being able to spend four years with people is very special and being able to share it with a lot of you seniors is uh, very special for me, very special for my family and I look forward to seeing what the, your life becomes. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We're all proud of you. Go make the world a better place. Each of you has a dream, your heart's desire. And when you're brave enough, to listen and pursue it, that dream will lead you to a journey to discover who you are meant to be. All you have to do is look inside your heart, unlock the magic, and dream big. I know you are going to meet some Belen special senior traditions during this historic moment, but it is also good to remember your past here at Belen. Think of all the time spent with your teachers, classmates, and friends, and the value that you have learned. All the knowledge you have gained over all these years is the greatest treasure you have. For those of you who spent seven years making music in my class, I want to say thank you. From discovering your passions inside the band, to guiding your careers in this wonderful world of music, or even to those who just pass by for a while to discover that they have the talent to speak the language of music. I am very proud of you. There are two things that will never abandon you and will always be in your heart. God and music. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey guys, I just wanted to wish you all uh, the very best. I know senior year hasn't gone exactly as planned, but God has a reason for all things and we just have to trust in him always. Uh, just, I wish you all the very best. It's been an absolute uh, pleasure to have seen you all grown up uh, from behind my lens. I wish you nothing but the best. You'll be in my prayers. God bless you, class of 2020. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi, miss you guys. I know that we have that banter a little bit in Zoom, but it's not the same as when you guys are there. Um, I was thinking about what to tell you guys and I thought about my son who, I mean, you, you guys know he's a sixth grader and I want for him the same as I want for you guys, all of you guys graduating. What, what the Jesuits want for our kids, you know, the grad at grad, the being open to growth, being intellectual, always wanting to learn always about everything, not just one specific field, being religious, being able to love other people, wanting to help other people whenever you see the need. Same thing that I want for them. I hope that you guys graduate with that in you and that it blossoms in college. Hopefully you guys go into the best colleges for each of you. I wish you the best. Uh, can't wait to see you in person and maybe even jump in the pool with you. See you. My dear seniors, I want to say so long, I won't say goodbye. I want you to know that we will miss you. It is sad that we cannot hug and say goodbye in person because nothing substitutes uh, physical presence. I want you to know that each one of you have made an impact in my life. I thank God for you. And I pray that in the journey of life, you continue to be the best person you can be, remembering all the teachings um, in Belen. Remember to be open to growth, intellectually competent, religious, and committed to doing justice. And above all, be loving. I love you very much, and I will always m remember you. Belen class of 2020, you did it. All your hard work has paid off. I want to wish you the best in your future endeavors. And no matter what the journey ahead brings, I want you to continue challenging yourselves, learning and chasing your dreams. Congratulations and God bless. Class of 2020, you did it. You made it through all the years of hard work. You made it through service hours, construction. You made it through so many things. And especially, you are now immortalized as that class who made it through COVID. You know future homilies are going to talk about you guys. I know I will. But aside from all that, I am so proud of you guys. I've seen the hard work you've put in. I wish we would have ended with you guys telling me your future plans in my office. But you know what? You can always come back and visit. I love you guys and I wish you nothing but success. I want to take the opportunity to congratulate all of you for the amazing work you have done. Even though it hasn't been a typical school year, I'm sure 
the best is yet to come. God has good things in store for you guys. And even when our times look uncertain, rest assured. He has you in the palm of his hand and he will take you places that you have never dreamed of. And thank you for the opportunity you've given us to teach you what we know. God bless you. Class of 2020. Wow, it's been a long time. I've known a lot of you guys for these four years. It seems like this day would never come where I would actually be recording a message for your retreat. In fact, I'm surprised a lot of you are still here, I'm going to be honest. I'm just kidding. It has been a real pleasure. Uh, not only those of you that I've had the pleasure of um, having you in class, but also, you know, um, just seeing many of you in the hallways and stuff like that. Uh, I got to say, I will miss you guys. Um, and it's cool that you're at this stage because, again, becoming alumni, you become more brothers than. Um, so the real, even the relationship changes from being your teacher to being a brother is really cool. That's one of one of the best parts I think of teaching seniors. I always had asked, and I've been asked quite a few times, uh, what my favorite quote is, and I'm gonna read it for you, which is again my I guess my message for you. This comes from General Robert E. Lee of the Confederate Army. In a article, he was quoted as saying, uh, "We failed, but in the good providence of God, apparent failure often proves a blessing." Which is my message to you. No matter what happens in life, just because something doesn't work out doesn't mean it wasn't for the better. Let God God guide your life and everything will work out for the better. Trust in that and you'll be you'll be fine. Well, guys, I love you all. Hope to see you in not too distant future, but don't get not so quick, but yeah, not too distant future. Take care of your, yourselves and I'll see you soon. Hi, seniors. This is Mrs. Cicada. Congratulations. You guys have been such a great, uh, amazing and fun class. Whether you were in my ninth grade biology, our amazing uh, ninth grade homeroom parties, forensic science, AP biology, FDA, and all of you that I spoke to in the hallways throughout the year. I just want to wish you all success, love, faith, and hope for the years in the future. Congratulations. Hi guys. I just wanted to send a heartfelt congratulations to all our seniors of 2020. Although I started Belen eight years ago, you all were the first class that I taught all the sixth graders. So you hold a very, very special place in my heart. What I remember most is your sixth grade lock-in, your eighth grade prom, and your grad venture. But what I remember most is watching you grow into the men you are today. I wanna to give a really special shout out to two special groups. The first is our senior thespians. I was very blessed to be able to work backstage at the Wizard of Oz, and I want you all to know that it was a big gift for me. And the second group is, of course, our CLC. You guys, I love you very much. Uh, four years in the making, we've shared a lot of special times together and I want to thank you for spending that time with us and praying with us. We love you, remember your roots, your home is Belen and we're always here for you. Congratulations everybody. Greetings, I, I'm glad to take this opportunity to send you a message especially to all of the seniors as they finish their school year to congratulate you all, to wish you the best and remember that Belen doesn't train you just for one occasion, it trains you for life. So may this event that we are all experiencing as a family, may be an event of growth, an event of hope, and an increase in our love for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is risen for us. God bless you all. Have a great year. Good morning, seniors. I'm probably the first teacher that you had at Belen in that little summer reading course of El Cid. The national hero of Spain was a man whose life reflected all the values that you teachers will try to instill in you for the next seven years to be the grad at grad. You have been an excellent class and uh, we're very thankful for all you've done for Belen and very proud of all your achievements. Now stay the course, be the best man that you can be make it a better world, and may your children and grandchildren be very proud of you. Know that Belen will always be here as your home. Best wishes to you all. Congratulations, class of 2020. What an accomplishment. I wanna tell you two things today. Number one, remain hopeful, because nobody could take that away from you. You can get through anything. You're, you're more than this. You're more than this pandemic. This is temporary. And remember that in life, everything is temporary. It's not about the situation, but it's about how you handle it. And always remain faithful. Look for God in all things. 
because in doing so, your outcome is going to be that much better. And no one can take your faith away from you either. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. Hello, boys. I hope you and your families are all well. I'm very proud of you, of your accomplishments and how far you've come. I wanted to leave you with a few words. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you're kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you're successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you're honest and frank, people will cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you have anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. God bless you, boys. Congratulations on your much-deserved success. I will see you soon. To the Belen class of 2020, congratulations. I know this isn't the way you expected your senior year to end, but remember, the task ahead of you is never as great as the power behind you. We love you. We will always be here for you. Now it's your turn to go out there and make your mark. Stay safe, make good choices, and God bless you. Love you. Hello, class of 2020. I miss you. I wish I were around and I wish I could see you people. The one thing I can say is that you're going to be another historic class. The other class that had these problems was the class of 1961. Both Belen and other Catholic schools in Cuba. Those people couldn't have their graduation as scheduled because of the Fidel Castro virus. You guys have the COVID-19. But you guys have taken it very well, and you have learned quite a bit from this experience. I've always told my freshmen that you're an amazing class, that you're wonderful leaders, and that they should imitate you when they become seniors in having the school looking up to them. You've been wonderful. I do hope we're going to have a graduation at one point or another, a baccalaureate mass especially at one point or another, because I want your mothers to be honored. And I certainly hope to see you guys very soon, one way or the other. May God bless you. You're wonderful. And stay in touch. Take good care. Greetings to the class of 2020. I just want to congratulate you all on a job well done. I wish that the year had ended differently for you, but you guys really stepped to the plate. I have enjoyed working with you over the years and look forward to your visits and hearing about your college experiences and capers. When I was thinking about this class, I was struck by the fact that most of you were born within the year following the 9-11 terrorist attack. Your families were strong and your parents continued to grow their families and not let anything stop them. And now this invisible enemy will not stop you. I feel confident that you will be ready to lead this world in the future. Hashtag class of 2020 strong. Hey class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. It was a pleasure having a lot of you guys last year. Um, as you go on to college, don't forget to impress everybody you meet with your um, very in-depth knowledge of art and architecture because for sure that'll help you make lots of new friends in college. Um, have a great time in school and I hope to see uh, you guys before you take off for your respective universities. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. I'm happy to share with you some thoughts before you go. I want to tell you what my prayer for you is. I pray that you find joy in doing whatever it is that you do, uh, whatever choice you make, that um, whatever career you follow, that it brings you joy. Not only that, but that you remember that you have a responsibility toward the most vulnerable among us. Make a commitment to justice. Um, do justice in favor of them. Finally, that you remember that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing. No matter what you do, no matter where you are, no matter who you become, uh, nothing, no one can separate you ever from the love of God. Run to Him whenever you're in trouble and even when you're not. Run to the arms of our Blessed Mother who is always protecting you like a good mother. And come back to visit us. We love to see you always. I love you, Class of 2020. And I'll see you soon. So long. Hi, class of 2020. Who would have said seven years ago when I greeted you in Tubalen that the end of your journey would be in the history books? But all for the greater glory of God. It has certainly made you stronger and more resilient. Ready to embrace whatever comes your way. 
Class of 2020, you certainly deserve to see and make all your dreams come true. I am confident of that. We will soon be able to celebrate, embrace, and reminisce. I wish you abundant blessings and the best in the future. Go Wolverines! Hello, class of 2020. I just wanted to say that with all of the things you've been looking forward to that now either aren't going to happen or they're not going to happen the way you expected, it would be so easy to get bitter. It would be so easy to indulge self-pity. Uh, and I want to encourage you to choose a different path. That when sufferings happen that you can't avoid, you can choose to maintain your inner peace. And that becomes a very powerful prayer. It can actually become a participation in the work of Jesus. It can become a, an immense intercession for other people. And I really want to encourage you to choose that path. Okay? God bless you. And please don't waste all of the opportunities for spiritual growth that this time offers you. May your future be blessed. Hi, class of 2020, it's Ms. Fernandez. It's been six years since you were sitting in my sixth grade class, and we also had our sixth grade lock-in. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm very proud of the men that you've become, and I know that there's going to be great things in store for you. We're never going to forget the class of 2020. On the last day of my class, I shared with some of you a fable about a water bearer and a cracked pot. And I hope that you remember that even though the cracked pot felt very disappointed because it was not able to bring the full load to the master's house, he was watering the seeds along the path. And in the end, he was able to provide flowers for everybody's beauty. Remember, in God's plan, nothing goes to waste. God bless you. And remember, we're all cracked pots, class of 2020. God bless you. I want to wish the senior class of 2020 many blessings as they move beyond the halls of Belen Jesuit. I will forever be grateful for how your class welcomed me during my first year at Belen. I look forward to hearing all about your future achievements, so please stay in touch. Hello, hello, Belen seniors. Brother Mike here, your fellow Belen brother of the class of 2009. I have 20 things I want to tell the class of 2020 in one minute while we take a tour of our beloved campus. Number one, always have a heart like Christ's heart, on fire for the kingdom of God. Do not be afraid to rise. Take Jesus and his mother by your side and to face the issues of today with courage. Be aware of everything that we consume, be it spiritually, psychologically, and even physically, because we become what we consume. Remember to go to Mass on Sundays and to live Eucharistically, blessed, broken and shared for one another. Gotcha. For the other 16, you're going to have to go to my YouTube channel. That's Mike Martinez SJ. Subscribe, like the video. Let's get those views up. Um, but on a serious note, I love you guys. And I will always remember you as my final class as a regent. So next time I see you, I'll be Father Mike. Frike. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, peace and purpose. Dear seniors, I never thought in my life to have this occasion to say a few words to you yeah, through this way, respecting the social distancing. In the 167 years of the foundation of the school, congratulations in advance. I want, want just to say a few words to, to you and be sure that Belen will never forget you. Belen will never abandon you. Don't abandon Belen. Keep your faith in God in college. Try to be the best. Work for excellence in the school. Be honest in your life. I have compassion to your brothers. If so, you are going to be very happy and proud of yourself. Now, I'm, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Belen, I'm going to give you, from the bottom of my heart, my humble blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen.